Um, so you guys had another, obviously a preseason game. Um, did you feel like you saw progress from maybe the first, the, the scrimmage to the preseason game? And how does that make you feel going into Friday? Most definitely. There was a big improvement on what we had talked about, which we had emphasized, like, you know, a point of our, the point of attack, getting through ball screens, stuff like that. Um, but also still areas to improve other areas now. So what do you think, uh, what's your sense from the coaching staff of how you guys will focus or what you'll focus on going into the Atlanta game? Uh, you know, they, they're they just super athletic and really fast. So we're really focused on transition defense, just getting back and stopping the ball. This is a, a slightly different question, but the documentary on your guys' bubble season is coming out this week. And I'm just curious if you've been able to think, you know, reflect back on what that season was like for you and for the league and also is it cool to see that there's, you know, this big documentary coming out that's really going to showcase everything that you guys went through and, you know, the sacrifices you had to make? Yeah, I'm super excited for that because, um, you know, that was a really challenging time for everybody in the world. Now, you know, not just us. Um, we were fortunate enough to use our platform and use our voices and still have a season in play. So I'm just excited for everybody to, to maybe fully understand the reason why we wanted to play, what we were playing for, and just really showcase – that women's basketball, the WNBA, is really taking a stand for what we believe in. Have you been able to see it ahead of time? Or are you going to see it for the first time? As, you know, this week? I'm I'm seeing it when everybody else sees. It. Nice, nice. Well, we'll have to check back with you once uh, everyone sees it this week. <laughs> Thanks. Go for it, Charlotte. Hey, Natasha, it's Charlotte from the Athletic. Hey. We've talked with Kurt just about the difficulties of not having all the starters in camp and kind of going into the season, kind of without being able to mesh everyone. What's that been like for you having been, you've been here since day one of camp and just kind of as people come in and yet you're mm -hmm. still kind of missing a few people. Um, like we said, we're just missing that leadership. Uh, you know, we have AT on the sidelines, but we're missing that leadership from Jasmine, from Rian January, from JJ. So we're just missing a little bit, but um, everybody's just trying to pick up the pieces. Um, like from, from my personal standpoint, you know, I just have to step up then. Everybody has to step up, but be a leader, I think. Um, it's very important for the point guards to, to lead the team, though. And um, since day one of camp, there's been a lot of growth with everybody, but still um, more growth to be done. What has it been like for you specifically? I mean, you touched on it without Jazz at the the main PG position, just you getting the experience of, or all the experience pretty much in camp so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, with that, it's like I learn from them every single day, uh, Jazz and Brian January. So I'm learning from them every single day and uh, they're not here now. So I just kind of have to step up and and now I'm teaching everybody else that, you know, Aaliyah Goodman or when other players were here. So kind of just forced me to step up and be more of a leader.